Okay, this generator right here, you can get 10 hours at 50%. This has a five gallon tank. You do have a little manual gauge on top. So you can see how much fuel you have in the generator. That's your fuel tank right here. Comes with this nice two sturdy handles. So you can carry it or push it around. It has four wheels. And one of those wheel has a brake. So you would just come over here and just step on it. That would activate your brake. You pull it up. That would take the brake off. It is a real nice generator. Especially love the Autogen Start. GFCI plugs, 20 amps, 240 volt, 30 amp. Reset. Got some USB. Push to restart the breaker for the DC. The ground. And I know a lot of you guys love this right here. Where you could turn off your fuel, keep the generator running, and starve the carburetor, then you can store it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Ames Power 6600. This is a 120 volt, 240 volt inverter generator, ultra quiet inverter generator. This one right here, most of you guys are really gonna like this because this generator not only does it have nice display up front it also has something you guys have been asking for this right here this is an automatic gen start so basically you just have two wires so you could just install like a switch it's a two open close loop you put a switch turn it on the generator would start turn it off the generator would stop you can run it at any length no power required it's just an open close uh, switch so that's perfect for that it does have key start I'm not a huge fan of key start but I guess if you want to lock your generator no one can start it you could take your key and use your key to start it it does have fuel shut off so you can shut the fuel off when you're not using this generator and so when you fix and store you could turn it off drain the carburetor run it out of gas and store it eco mode manual choke Push to restart. It does have a 12 volt cigarette lighter right here. Four 120 volt 20 amp plugs and one 240 volt four pin twist lock. You'll have your ground right here. This generator is not parallel capable, so it does not support being paralleled. Okay. All right. Let's turn the fuel on and get it started there you go okay guys while the generator is in eco mode let's do a quick db test 23 feet Fifty nine point seven. Okay, I already got everything hooked up. My meter, surge protector, everything's ready. I'm gonna be using the power watchdog. You can see I can see everything right here. The RV's already pulling like eighty seven watts. All right, guys, let's hit the ACs. Before I do the AC, let's turn on the refrigerator. Okay, just the refrigerator. I have the TV on. Refrigerator, let's turn on the two AC. Front and back. One AC comes on. That's the fan. I do have soft start, just in case you guys are asking. 1,600. 
Second AC should be coming online soon. All right, second AC just came on. Okay, guys, we got the two AC running. You can come right here. Okay, that's right about 50%. 50% DB test. Sixty-six point five at fifty percent. All right, let's get in there and let's turn on some more load. All right, you can see that pure sine wave, guys. This generator puts out a really clean pure sine wave. Let's turn on this stove. On heater. We're gonna turn it to high. All right, guys. Pushing 4,400. I know the AC is on, but I need this heater to pull some more power. So I'm going to turn on the heater on high. That's going to pull 1,500 watts. Okay. Remember, this thing pulls right at 6,000. We're almost there. We're at 6,000 right now. So 5,800, full load, DB test, full load. Okay, we got the overload light flashing. 100% DB test. Sixty nine point four. Let's overload it. One minute on the microwave. There you go. Whoa. As you can see, guys, it does put out the power. It held that for a while too. The Ames inverter, 6,600 watts. If you guys are looking for an awesome generator, real quiet, puts out the power. Let's go ahead and unplug the RV. Let's see if you can reset it without restarting the generator. Yes, I like that. It's always nice to restart the generator without having to shut it off and restart it. That's, that is just too much. I hate that. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it off. Okay, guys, one thing I want to try, I want to try this uh, auto gen start. So let me get some wire. Let me hook it up and see if we can uh, get that to work. Okay? Okay, guys, so I got some wire. Just a little piece of wire. I'm just going to demo that. I could not find a switch, but it's all right. As long as a switch, basically what a switch does is open, close contact. So I'll just open, close wire and kind of show you. All right. So you just pull out this little connector. You connect your wire on each side. As long as they don't touch each other. You're good. Now, all I'm going to do is put it back. Just plug it back in. Now, once you turn your key to run, okay, get your key to run. You got your wire. So I would run this all the way inside my house, put it to a switch, any switch. It could be a, a light switch. It does not matter as long as it can close contact. Watch this. Contact close. You leave it close. Okay. Generator will start. 
So, another thing. I know it shows manual choke here, but when it uses the auto gen start, it actually has an automatic choke on the inside. So it, it will do all the choke. You don't have to leave the choke out. Just leave it in. Leave the gas on, key on, generator plugged in. Once you turn your switch off, it will open contact. The generator will stop. Okay, you see all the power is off, so you don't have to worry about leaving the key on. It shuts off all the power. Just leave your eco mode on, choke in, fuel on. Guys, thanks anyways. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.